Welcome back to Callahan's Corner, where you ask the questions. We answer them live right here on Facebook. So, had a question submitted in one of the Facebook groups today, and I wanted to grab this uh, on the way um, out today to touch base on when you should check your budget versus actual time. Um, and the question uh, is very, uh, I guess, prominent in a lot of the Facebook groups of when you should be checking that stuff. And in my company, we would check that daily. Uh, the gentleman who posted the question wanted to know if he was accurate looking at it on a yearly basis. But if you wait to a yearly basis, it's too late. So what I'm recommending is every service, whether it's lawn mowing, home cleaning, pest control, should have a budgeted time uh, that includes non-billable mobilization in your overhead recovery model. So. You're not going out to your crews and saying, well, if you're 80% or better, it's okay. They're going to resonate better with a budgeted timing hitting 100% over or under time. So what we want to do is track the budget versus actual for your mowing or home cleaning on a daily basis. So at the end of the day or uh, the next morning before the crews get out, and we want to post that publicly for accountability with a quality control standard. Now, the second part of the question that was submitted was, should I raise my prices based on this? Absolutely. Now, uh, any time you get new accounts, you may over or under bid those, but we do want to get a statistical mean or an average. So I recommend that we do a job costing report uh, in July and at the end of the season, end of November, December. And those are going to be over, say, 15 or 20 visits on the particular service, such as lawn mowing, where the question was based. And then if they're not hitting our hourly goal, that financial threshold, we would raise the price um, up to that threshold. So if you've seen any of the videos where we show you the job costing report through the KPI package uh, that Simple Growth does, we're able to go down and literally uh, raise the price in the example to $2.56 per visit to hit a hourly goal of say $60 per man hour. So. As you're looking at to answer the question to really get into it is you want to be able to track the daily wins and losses on average across all the jobs you're doing and part out publicly and then uh, that's going to show you if you're making money on average across all the jobs for the day or week and then twice a year we want to go out and run a job costing report on each specific customer and we can raise the losers up and you may wonder why why would you select july or the beginning of july usually right after that fourth of july weekend with the holiday is that's going to give you a, a, enough average there uh, to base the numbers on and you've gotten out of this, the wet, slow part of the spring. And in addition, uh, if we've got a new account and we did botch the estimate for some reason and we're losing money, there's no need to go out for another 15 to 20 weeks and continue to service that profit at a net loss. Let's raise that price up and get it up to the profit area or let's politely disengage them through a two week period uh, if we can't get them to that threshold. And we're gonna be honest about it, we're gonna do it in a professional manner. So uh, answer the question is then, we want to go in, we check daily versus budgeted times daily and job costing twice a week. So hopefully that answers the questions. Callahan's Corner, you ask the questions, we answer them live right here on Facebook.